Hello and welcome to a new video of Voice of Believers and today we would like to show you something practical, something that you might have some problems. We would like to show you from the Bible what you can do about it. And that is smartphone and stress, or equals st stress. A lot of time it equals stress. So the question is, should you even have a smartphone? Now, there is no easy answer to that, but to say that there are multiple things that one has to consider. And one is, if a smartphone has an uncontrolled, uncontrolled, uh, way of using it, you're going to feel like, and that's probably why people do it, you're going to feel like FOMO. People have a problem today that they have a fear of missing out. They constantly think they need to new, know the newest thing. They might fear out of something. Another thing which happens in this uncontrolled way is communication. We do think that we need to communicate uh, all the time, which again causes stress. There is another thing that the smartphone is doing. It's going to give you bad habits. Because the a smartphone is designed to give you habits. So you always pick it up and you have to look at it. You have to see what's going on. Again, you have to know uh, uh, the news. And a smartphone can obviously lead to abnormal amount of stress. So if it's uncontrolled, you're going to feel like you constantly need to talk to someone else. You, you constantly think like, man, there is something that I, that I miss. I need to, to do something more. I need to... Uh, I, I, people think today that their business is better, that they need to do business. The fact is, you don't, you don't need that much business like you think you do. And this kind of stuff leads to depression. It also leads to health issues. It also leads to obviously stress, sleeping disorder, and why is that? Because people don't know how to control it. So, on the other side, we believe there is man, and we believe that man was made in the image of God. And God said, you need to control everything. Now, you turn your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, in verse 12, and that's the answer, should you even have a smartphone? Well, the question really has something to do with you. All things are lawful unto me. All things, even a smartphone. Even in TV, for that matter. But all things are not expedient. Not everything you should have, because once you have it uncontrolled, once you cannot control the thing anymore, and it controls you, you're going to face problems. And, you know, the, uh, the smartphone industry and these digital media, they don't want that. Why? Because everything has, at the end of the day, to do with big box. You're going to make big box. The uh, health uh, department makes a lot of uh, 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 money by sick people. They don't make money by people that are not sick. In verse 12 it says, All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. If the smartphone has a power above you, that is not right. Because don't forget that man has to take care of his soul. You know, a thing that 
that also is brought through uncontrolled is addiction. Addictions. So you cannot take care of your soul anymore because you're addicted to a smartphone. You have to see it all the time. It's something that we see in the book of Acts. In the book of Acts chapter 17, in verse 19, the Bible says, And they took him and brought him unto Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine we have to speak us is? For that brings certain strange things to our ears. We will know, therefore, what these things mean. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. What is a smartphone? It's always to hear something new. Why do we need social media all the time? Because we want to hear something new. We want to be informed. We don't want to miss out. <laughs> we don't want to miss out. And what we don't understand is we're basically destroying our soul, which is why we're getting depression, why we have psychological depression. Because we always want to hear new things. Well, if you turn your Bible to Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6 in verse 34, you're going to read, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Look, who cares what so-and-so is doing? They're taking care of itself. Why would you want to be controlled by these thoughts when you should really take care of your soul? Well, the first thing that I want to show you, how can you take care of your soul again? How can you control it? By turning it off. Relax. God gave, made six, seven days, and on one day he rested. And so should you. You should rest. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4, in verse 6, the Bible says, Be careful for nothing, but everything be by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. You know what you need? The peace of God. You need the peace of God. These things can never give you peace. These things, they think you, you need to make more business, more more habits, more communication. No, less. More communication with God. You need to have peace with God. It was Peter who meditated. It was lots of uh, believers in the Bible who meditated on God's Word. Why don't you start to take God's Word and meditate on it? Why don't you uh, uh, muse on God's Word? Not amuse. The smartphone is a thing that somebody else wants to think for you, which is why it's called a smartphone. We are smart when we are in control when we are individual sovereign and we control it we're not being controlled by a smartphone you know the last thing that people do nowadays is they talk on the phone they don't do everything else with that stupid thing the bible says be not conformed to this world but by the but by, by the renewing of your mind you have to renew that you can't constantly fall in the trap of getting constantly controlled by this world and by their information and by everything they want you to have in order for you to get sick you want to be healthy you want to have peace in your soul take jesus christ start amusing his word and what he th said and why he made certain things and you're going to see that you're going to feel a lot more com uh, comfortable and you control and maybe you even get rid of it because you th see that you don't need it voice of believers is part of the bible believing movement why don't you just contact us at answers at the voice of believers to come we would like to help you we would like to help you through your worries we would like to disciple you we would like to start a church with you we would like to start to help you to receive jesus christ we hope this video was a blessing and we hope to see you soon